My name is Martin Hart. I wake up around about, normally maybe about 11, half 10. I feed my little beasts. And then I pack my bags and tidy up. And I perhaps go across to the church at about a quarter to one and get service. And I have a bit of a wash inside the church. And then I come out and I head to Grafton Street, which I may have a cup of coffee. There are lots of things to occupy your mind. You might take a walk at Stevens Green. And then I will head to the library. Which I would get there, maybe it might be three, four o'clock. And then I will read from that on. I could read a book in maybe up to four or five days, maybe over 500 pages, in the library for about three hours a day. I will leave the library at about 10 to 8 and I will head back and do some shopping. Then I will head home to Western Row. My name is Donald Maloney. I've been a professional photographer for almost 30 years. I first met Martin in November 2013. I was on my way back from a meeting in the city and I was passing under the bridge at Weston Row and out of the corner of my eye I spotted him. He looked like a Dickens character. He was lying in a sleeping bag feeding pigeons. So I stopped the car and grabbed my camera. I ran across the street and asked him if I could take a photograph of him. But he didn't say anything. So I just took the shot anyway and went back to the studio. So next day I returned, hoping to get a little bit more about the man. So I walked up to him and said, how are you doing today? And he just replied, Excellent, thank you. <laughs> I, I was immediately intrigued. I had to know more about this guy. So we just sat down and chatted for about an hour. The first Christmas came along, which was just over a month since I'd first met him. And I decided to ask him to the studio for dinner on Christmas Day. But he graciously declined, and I then suggested that I'd bring it to him under the bridge. So that's exactly what I did. And he seemed to really, really enjoy it. And for the last two Christmases, our trust and respect has grown. And he's been coming to my studio for dinner. I've known Donald about four years. I think he came over to me while I was in my home, when I'm lying about. 
And then he just approached me and spoke to me. That's how I met him. He likes photography. I think I took a photograph of him. I think there are some photographers who can catch a personality in a photograph. Sometimes we go, we've been to do the, where is it? The lighthouse, which is towards Ring's End or something, Sandy Mount or someplace there. And we've been to Dolly Mount and St. Dan, and lots of places we go. They're always exciting and interesting. I mean, financially, he's probably in a better situation than me and, and most people. He, he has no debts, and more importantly, he doesn't have the same stress as many of us regular folk do. He's no mortgage, he's no loans, he's no work, he's no family. I love my family and I love my work, and I'm not suggesting for one moment that I'd swap it for his life, but I sometimes envy him in a funny kind of way. He's happy and then he's in a good place with himself. Isn't that what we all strive for? Happiness. I think happiness is, is an illusion, really. The simple things in life that make me happy are reading a book, or even feeding the, the pigeons. Christmas makes me happy. Even the coming of spring makes me happy. Summer makes me happy. Snow makes me happy. Even rain. Thunder and lightning even. When was the last time you were unhappy? I can't think of unhappiness. I couldn't describe it to you. What do you think makes me happy? I don't think you could ever be happy. Why do you think I, I, I could never be happy? Because you're looking to find happiness. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? God, I wish I could answer that question. Well, because I'm coming from a different world than you, what makes me happy is financial... stability makes me happy. People make me happy. Um, communication makes me happy. My work makes me happy. But you've never considered yourself homeless. No. Where is home? Home is in the intellectual capacity to be happy. How would you like to be remembered? Yes, but, but who'd be remembering? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you leave little to be remembered by, there is little to remember. Thank you.